Hello and welcome to another Elliot Phillips Aspects of My Life channel episode. Please subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. Hello and welcome to the British Ironworks Centre. So first of all, I came across some really amazing metal ironwork deer. Just look at the detail, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and here we see a horse, and it looks like it's galloping. And there were these statues absolutely everywhere. There was uh, a model of an alien. Uh, this is a knife structure. It's a knife angel. And it was actually constructed out of knives which had been collected, which had been used in... Um, knife attacks and here's a little bit of information about that so please pause the video if you'd like to read that. <laughs> it's a dragon on a car. Uh, next I saw this amazing sculpture on top of a car. Um, it was absolutely amazing, I couldn't believe it. Um, you could donate some money to go towards a local charity uh, which in this case was Hope House um, and all donations are gratefully received. The British Ironworks Centre is an absolutely amazing day out. Um, I didn't even know it was here until I actually came to look. Um, it's full of amazing statues and that you can buy. Everything that you can see, you can buy. There were these amazing gates if you've got fabulous homes or even a modest home. You know, you can commission things. So you can commission a gate or you can commission a statue. They have their own blacksmiths, which is what we're looking at now. Um, they do um, tours as well for people that are interested in that um, at certain times and on certain days. The golden bridge. I came across this fabulous golden bridge. I mean, just imagine having a home a where you could put that on. Um, obviously a crocodile on the roof. I mean, why not? Why would you not want a crocodile on the roof? Um, a cobra, which is I think is quite scary. Um, so I had to get a shot of the cobra. Um, will it strike? It's coming. Run! Uh, then there was... I, I think it's an eagle. It's an eagle, isn't it? I'm sure someone will correct me if it's not an eagle. Uh, it looks like an eagle to me. Um, so like I say, everything that you can see, you can buy. Then there was this you know, amazing scenery and a field um, full of statues, of animal statues, of elephants and deer and pigs and chickens, which we'll get to later. There's also lots of, of food and restaurants and little stalls where you can buy sweets but this is a big um, so we're coming up to the main building and when i was coming this way i can see this big ape and it's king kong look isn't he amazing king kong um and a lot of these structures are actually made from recycled metal too These signs I absolutely love. I didn't um, end up buying one, but I love the black cat. Um, and as you can see, there's a white cat too. And those of you who know, know me, know that I love cats and I have two cats. So um, I thought they were very special. There were these aeroplanes hanging up above the ceiling, um, suspended from the ceiling, I should say. Um, they were fabulous. And there's just so much stuff, including this um, old fashioned English post box with a crown on which was really interesting. There was also lots of little nooks with all these different um, knickknacks and trinkets that you could buy. And I came across this amazing phone and it was all furry um, and it felt really velvety. And that would be amazing and fabulous to have in your home. Um, again, I didn't end up buying that. I did buy something eventually, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so we're now walking through where lots of people have decided to have their lunch and the food did look really good. There was paninis um, and all kinds of things and of course, um, you know, you could have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Here's another nook which is, I suppose, kind of American themed. There was lots of things about Route 66 um, you've just seen the Michelin man. Um, so that was really, really good. Here, I believe I'm looking at the Queen, a sculpture of the Queen. Uh, please let me know if you think it's anyone different, but I, to me, that looked like the Queen. Um, there was also this other little um, section which was all themed around frogs. So 
if you like frogs, there was all these different frogs that you could buy. So looking up at the ceiling again, you can see all the amazing ironworks and sculptures that were hanging, all these different signs that you could buy, um, and a few items of clothing too. I loved the Union Jack waistcoat. Um, another Queen, Winston Churchill. And there was also a really big selection of sweets, um, which look absolutely gorgeous and delicious. So if you go buy one and let me know what you think. I, I loved this pink gorilla monkey, whatever it was. Um, okay, so these are the chickens, the chickens in the coops. Um, so iron chickens, why not? Why not buy an iron chicken? They look fabulous and uh, a great addition to any garden. So the scenery is really good. Um, I love looking out over the fields and the open British countryside. And there's elephants. I mean, why not? Why not have an elephant, an ironwork elephant, in the middle of the British countryside? Why not? They do look amazing. Um, there's some information on the elephants if you want to pause the video um, to read that. I hope you can see it. Oh, hello, and why not have another elephant? Um, they, I think they'd be rather lonely if, if there weren't two elephants. Um, so here we have a rhinoceros. Again, why not? Why not have an ironwork rhinoceros? Um, he looks fairly stunning. Um, and what a big horn! Stroke the horn, stroke the horn. Um, it did feel really good. Okay, so now I feel like we're on safari. Um, never mind Prince Harry and Meghan Markle going on safari in Africa. I'm on my own safari looking at hippos. They were really fab. Oh, this um, zebra looked absolutely stunning. I love the zebra. Oh, hello. I can see you peeping through the long grass. I know. <gasps> An alligator. Don't bite me. Please don't get snappy with me. Aren't they really good? Though? I absolutely love them. They're fabulous. Now a giraffe's got to eat when a giraffe's got to eat. Um, so these sculptures are again just absolutely fabulous and out of this world. Um, I didn't obviously inquire how much these pieces cost but I bet you're looking into the thousands um, for some of these pieces. But they are works of art so if you've got the right setting to put them in why not and you've got the money just go for it. Okay look at this bottom. It's huge. Looks like Kim Kardashian. Okay, so this ape, or shall we call him King Kong in the cage, he's actually made of recycled spoons. So I think people have donated the spoons, and in a moment I'll do a really close-up of the spoons, so hopefully you can make them out. Can you see? And there is also a zoo area called Zoosbury um, for young, small children. Okay, take a look at this magnificent kind of mirrored, mirrored effect owl. I absolutely love him. Right, um, I'm back home and I did make one purchase which I said I was going to show you. So without further ado, the one item which was affordable, uh, I, mean, I mean there were lots of things that were affordable, but the one thing that I actually needed, and I'm having a bit of trouble getting out of the bag, um, you'll see why in a moment because it has hooks, is actually this. And it's, um, it's actually a key, a key holder. Uh, that goes on your wall. So basically, the branches, if you can see, are little hooks with two birds, and it's, it's like a tree branch, and it's um, cast iron, and it goes on the wall. So I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like on the wall. So that's going to go there with some black screws, um, and my keys will be well hung and happy, which is how all keys should be. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
If you've liked this video, uh, please give me a big thumbs up. Please share on social media. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all the latest uploads. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.